Hello everyone. Today uh, I'm gonna talk about Workbench interface basically, and then uh, we will see uh, details why we are using uh, the Ansys Workbench. All right. Uh, first of all, it took some time to open Workbench for me. That's why I already opened it. Uh, after you install it, uh, by the way, I will use the standard version of 2019 R2. And okay, from here, uh, search for Workbench and then just click and open it. Uh, I also fix it, uh, fix it here because I'm using it frequently. All right, uh, after you open it, uh, this screen will appear. And then firstly, uh, let me talk about top tabs. Uh, for file tabs, as you can know from other softwares like uh, new sections, open, save, save as, and uh, etc. Et and then uh, let's look at the view tab. Uh, here, for example, uh, if you want to see toolbox customization, just click it or uh, project schematic like that. Uh, you can arrange can arrange as you wish uh, just throw it all and if you mix it and can't set it as defaults or you made wrong something that uh, you don't want you can click reset workspace if you click reset window layout everything goes default settings and I prefer to see properties on the interface because we will use it frequently. And if you wish, you can open the uh, messages section, uh, progress, etc. And as I told you before, you can arrange here as you wish. In this tab, we can arrange our units. In generally, we will work with metric systems, millimeter or meter. But maybe we can work with us engineering uh, because examples will have different unit systems and maybe uh, we can change it to metric unit system or maybe we can work with us uh, US engineering. Uh, I will explain these uh, two options why we define materials. If there are some differences here, click unit systems and you can add and remove the systems and you can examine here to understand what that means like the link meter relationship uh, okay now help tab and then ansys workbench help and ansys will redirect us to a page that you can find everything uh, let's Let's wait it. Um, okay, actually, I don't have a connection right now, but you can reach detailed information for every section from there. Uh, now, let me talk about um, toolbox here. A template of analysis systems already in this section. And then, or you can them here separately. And in custom system sections, you can create a template. If you want to use this uh, template every time, you can save it and find this in this section. And we will look at uh, the design section later, or maybe we will we'll not. I don't know. Uh, I don't promise. Uh, because the main purpose of this tutorial to learn a new static structural section, maybe we can add uh, steady state thermal or now from here uh, we can drag the static structure from toolbox to interface of workbench with left clicked. This is the first option. The second one is I can double click on it or I can drag uh, that 
And the other option is right click on the black page and go new analysis systems and choose one that you need. Uh, if I want to delete this, just right click on the left edge, click delete and set OK. OK, it's done. It's gone. Um, we've talked about here, for example, this one came here with a template. If you look at the template, the top one is type of analysis. The second one is engineering data, which we can define our materials. And then we will create a geometry. After geometry, we are going to the model section with mechanical which and this workbench. This workbench software. When you double click it, a new page will appear and we will choose our materials that we defined machine our, on our geometry, geometry and we will define our contacts and boundary conditions and then apply lots. I mean, when we open model section, all of these sections of model setup, solution results will work together and we don't need to go inside separately. Uh, now here, um, as you can see, there is a green tick on engineering data, question mark on geometry data. Uh, um, I prepared these records in Turkish a while ago. That's why there will be some Turkish sections, sections, but I will translate it as you see. A green tick means everything okay. Uh, when you see this, that means this needs to be updated because of changing the above sections. This one means refresh. Blue question mark means needing a defining and the other mean is not usable. Why is not be uh, use, usable because there is no geometry defined or created. That's why you can't reach the model section. Uh, when you look at the geometry symbol, that means needs to be defined. There is a green tick on the engineering data. If you don't define any materials, ANSYS will define automatically structural steel. That's why there is a green tick. So this, uh, this template is like that. If you want to change its name, double click on the name and just change it and press enter. As I told you, if you don't want to use the template, but I will definitely prefer you to is use it for first times. For example, I want to create a geometry section separately or mesh section. We can do it step by step. After for that, for example, I want to use my geometry that I created in geometry section in the mesh section. What will I do? Just hold left click on geometry and drag it to mesh sections geometry. And look at that. A new connection is created. After this connection, each change uh, that I will make in this geometry section will affect mesh sections geometry. Same way I can create a connect between this. From here, like, let's delete this firstly. Okay, uh, okay. And now, uh, I want to use this template later, and I want to save it, what will I do? Right click and go to add to custom and type a name for it. Add to custom, where is here? Click add to custom and type a name for it. All right, now we can see this template here. Okay, let's delete this. And okay. And let's let's delete this one. Just click delete and okay. From here, just double click on the template uh, that we created to use the template. Now, uh, first to delete this and this one. Okay. First, uh, let's direct a static structural template here. Okay. 
Um, for example, let's assume that we defined materials, created geometry, and uh, made everything and got a result, but I want to see how the result will change according to changes in engineering data. Uh, we will do it on parameters, but if we can change the geometry or the geometry completely changed, or let's assume the boundary conditions changed. Under these circumstances, what will I do? We will make it again from scratch? Of course not. Let's right click on the left edge and click duplicate a new copy will be created all right as you can see uh, there is no connection between them so if you change uh, this one it won't affect the other one if you change this one um, it won't affect the other one when you go resource sections and double click you can compare this Two different models. Okay, let's delete again. Um, have you have you ever realized here? Here is uh, here really is written now. When the workbench works, uh, it will change as busy. Uh, in geometry, we can go design modeler or basically, or we can import geometry. And um, here things are written that what you are doing, like um, starting mechanical, um, something like that. When we look at here, we can see progress, uh, messages, any warning, errors in messages. Uh, we can see here, and we can open and reopen the sections from view, view tab. Here are properties of project schematic, which is really important, I think. Um, uh, actually, it's, it's, uh, it's really important. And then, uh, when we click on geometry, there is analysis type here, which is actually uh, another important thing. Um, analysis type may be 2D or 3D, we will do it, uh, in general we will work 3D, but there will be examples in 3, 2D. If we can analyze in 2D, we will do it in 2D. It will gain us time. And if we analyze in 2D before making anything, we don't change it to 2D. All right. And then beyond that, line bodies, surface bodies are other important things, which we will see it later. <clears throat> okay, uh, this section is uh, this section is like that. I didn't I didn't want to go deeply for this uh, record because uh, uh, because of I know you are already bored and looking forward to an analyzing something. I know that I feel that. Uh, let's say with this file, uh, go, go desktop or wherever you want, and then I right, just uh, type a name and then save our file. Look, save project is written, so it is giving us information. Hey, I'm saving project. Don't disturb me. And then let's look at our files that we saved. There is no just 111 workbench. There are also some files here. I mean, it's not just one thing. We can double click and open the workbench, but we don't. We need other files uh, to open uh, our files that we saved. Now, uh, what we what can we do if uh, I want to send it? As a mail, uh, it won't appropriate for mail, right? Or we can reduce these files to just one file. And then, uh, how? Uh, let me show you how to transform it uh, to just one file. Just go file and then archive. We can save from here also. When we click it, but first uh, I need to say that. To save as archive, first we need to save our files. Since we already save it, <clears throat> sorry, uh, there is no warning. 
if you try before you save it, uh, there will be a warning and it will want you to save the file first. For example, I will save uh, with this name and there is some options here. And if you click and remove the tick for the top option, the person who opens this file will see lightning symbols on setup solutions and results. I mean, the person needs to refresh the project again, so he or she will not reach the solution directly. The other section is asking you that should, should I include the files? Uh, you can select these options as you like, and uh, I, I I actually prefer to leave it as default settings. And okay, let's look at our new file that we saved. Uh, you can see here, like just file and um, and and compare the storage areas can compare the storage areas all right uh, as you can see we save with just one file I'm checking fastly if I forget something uh, let me think about that and I think I think uh, yeah <clears throat> yeah let me show you that we can open the file as we saved archive and to open that, we need to go, where is that? Um, I couldn't find that, but that should be Restore Archive, which I don't find. Uh, to open that, we need to go Restore Archive. Uh, okay, uh, I think that's it for today. Uh, as we will see this again and again during the tutorial I uh, just wanted to give you just basics basics that you need because you need to know this one basically you will see the point what what I'm talking about when we start to use ANSYS Workbench I hope so far so yes alright that's all stay tuned